people and habits of highly effective institutions and so on. If we were to look at the school guidance commercial, and we spoke about it as because we do believe it's a highly effective school, what are, I think, the top three behaviours you would say um, belong to the principle of a highly effective MOOC school, Tommy? The first one is passion. Um, in life, you can't do anything if you don't have a, the passion and, and, and zoom the passion. So I'm very passionate about the caring part of, of the school. So that's why, yes, we have a MOOC program, but the rest of the activities in the school also focus on caring. So we provide sandwiches, we do all kinds of things to care for our learners. And the educators at the school know that if you want to be part of this staff or this school, then you must be willing to show that courage to care kind of values. And then I think the second part is, like I said, I'm a very hands-on principal. So I'm not going to adopt a program and then sit behind my desk and at the end say, Mr. Taylor, you're done with the program, send the report through. So I'm checking regularly, how's it going? Are you having problems with the other coaches? When is the next session? I'm pushing to have that next session. Not because we just want to complete the program, but it's, like I said, it's important for the program to be run within the school. And then I think also, as, a, as, a, as the principal of a school that wants to be a moon school, you need to then be that caring person. You need to care about your staff, you need to care about your learners. You can't say we are caring school, we have this caring program, but then learners can't come into your office and speak to you. So when you walked in today, you saw that there was learners having a chat, and they in and out, they come and look at my mother to just <laughs> check how beautiful they are today, and now comment about yeah. in a positive way. So I think for me, those are my three most important things that links up with this program, is the passion for the program and for caring, and then it's be hands-on, you can't just take a back seat and expect the program to be delivered without you. And then the third is, you need to lead by example. If you are mood school and you want to show courage to care, then you have to, as the principal, also have that courage. Um, on the days where teachers send messages to say, sorry, I can't be at school, you can't get upset. You need to take the courage to find the way to work around those teachers. And like currently, I have a teacher off for two weeks. I'm stepping in and, and I'm teaching the class. Luckily, I can teach this out here. <laughs> Mr. Taylor was quite surprised. She actually came to check and not actually. It's not that I can yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's important that you get involved. I will go sweep the passages if we short stop and things like that. So it's be hands on, always show the passion and never stop giving. That's amazing. And then from a coach perspective and a coordinator perspective, in your assessment, what are the top three qualities that you need to have to be highly effective? I would definitely say you have to bring the energy. First of all, you have to bring the energy because that is how you keep the learner interested in what is going on. And also you have to plan properly. You have to know what you're doing every minute in your session. Otherwise, we're wasting precious time. And then I would say the third would be to reflect. After a session, what is it that went wrong? Where can we?